hello guys what's up welcome to another tutorial today i will be telling you guys how to use your old pc or in laptop as a screen extender or a second screen for your main pc that too without any internet or wi-fi connection i always wanted to edit my blogs and youtube videos at the same time because it was very tiring to do that in one screen while editing videos if i get any idea i just have to um, use alt tab and wi windows tab to switch over to another screen that was really tiring and even time taking i always wanted to set up an environment in which i can edit my youtube videos and um, write my blog at the same time so i searched over net for such a solution and there were many solutions about this but mostly all of them required an internet connection or Wi-Fi. Windows 10 has its own connect app which can connect to PCs and share their displays and use it as an extended display also. But that required a newer generation PCs. But as my PC was old, it didn't support that. I had a HP Pavilion G series laptop, more precisely HP Pavilion G4 with 2 GB RAM and Windows 10 64 bit installed on it. So I was also looking over a solution which for, didn't require any Wi-Fi connection as I didn't want to waste my Wi-Fi slot with this thing and I wanted it to be connected to my home Wi-Fi network. So after lots of searching and hard work, I was able to do that. Though it took me a lot of time to find the solution but it was worth spending time. For this we need team viewer. So we will be heading over to team viewer site and downloading the latest version available after downloading you can install that just open the setup and uh, click on this personal non-commercial use and select the installation to access this computer remotely click on show advanced settings then click on accept next click yes you can select this option if you want and click on finish that will install TeamViewer to your computer you have to do same thing on your second PC or the old PC which you have TeamViewer on both of them next thing we will be configuring our network settings for that I will be going to control panel and going to network and sharing center then go to change adapter settings right click on ethernet i will be using a lan cable so therefore i will be configuring my ethernet right click on ethernet click on properties go to this internet protocol version 4 tcp backslash ipv4 click properties now just copy this in your laptop or pc you can put any ip address but i would recommend following this for the simplicity of the tutorial so after doing this uh, on your main PC, you have to do the same thing on your older PC or the uh, laptop which you want to use as a second screen. Guys, this is my Pavilion G4 laptop and um, I will be heading over to control panel here also. Then I will be going to network and sharing as I did on my main laptop. Then again I will be going to change adapter settings. And then I will be going to Ethernet and right click on it and go to properties. Select uh, Internet Protocol version 4. Go to properties and use these as uh, your entries. So when you have entered these uh, in your second laptop, now you have to head over to your main pc and open team viewer on it now open team viewer click on extras go to options click on security and set up a password and then confirm that password by retyping it again then go to general and go to incoming LAN connection and click on accept exclusively click ok now i will be showing you guys my older laptop where i did the same thing 
guys now i'm back on my pavilion g4 i will be opening team viewer on it then i will be going to extras go to options and select incoming LAN connection as accept exclusively as you will be seeing you won't be needing any security password here so i have left that blank you can do same now all we have to do is connect both the laptops using a LAN cable so i will be doing same and resuming the video then so guys i've connected my both the laptops using this uh, ethernet cable here you can see and now i will open team viewer in both the laptops you can see i have opened team viewer in both my laptops and you can also notice that i'm getting my ip address as in your id section and you can see here it's it's showing only LAN connections are possible same you will see in your second laptop you will get your ip address as your id and you will see only LAN connection are possible now since i'm connected to my LAN i can create and i can try and connect my laptop now in partner id i will be entering the ip address of my main laptop i will be clicking on this connect button and then I will be getting this uh, from box asking me to enter the password so I will be entering the password which I have entered in my secure settings in my main laptop and click on uh, log on now you can see uh, we are getting the replication of our main screen laptop and I will I will be maximizing this and showing you guys what to do next so you will be getting this small toolbar here now go to view if you are having any problem with your resolution click on this button here scaled if you are getting your right resolution then don't click on this now you will be also getting an option for second lamp screen just click on that and again if you are getting any problem just click on scaled if not then it's okay you can see small screen button and switch between the monitors so this is our second screen i will be opening anything chrome or anything you can see i will be opening this Maybe God knows what it's written now. You will see the magic happening. So you can see I can easily share between my uh, screens, and it's working. You can see that it's working using Team Viewer. I am able to use my old PC as a second screen, and I have created a small workstation in my home. I can do two things together so guys this was just one small problem that we are not connected to the internet as we are only connected to these ethernet cable so for that I have a solution just open your settings in your main laptop click on network and click on Wi-Fi then just turn on your Wi-Fi Click on show available networks. Now you will um, get your Wi Fi connection and connect from here, and you will see that I am now connected to even Wi Fi. Now I will be opening Chrome and searching anything on Google to check that my network is working or not. Uh, it's taking time, yeah. So as you can see that it has opened up and that means my internet is working. Now I can use my internet also and I am still connected to my second screen. You can see I am still connected to my second screen and I can also use my internet. So guys I hope you have liked this video and if you have liked this video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to be updated with such uh, cool videos. Thanks for watching guys. Thank <laughs> you.